What's up, you guys? It's Ao from Catalyst here. Victoria posting some mixed signals. She just posted. This is like I'm. I was just about to go to bed. Twelve minutes ago, from the 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 time that I am recording this, she posted a picture of her and Aaron saying, "Lies only last so long." Oh my gosh! So is she still vying for Aaron Carter's love, or is this just a diss? I think this is like very like. Oh man, I don't know if that's a good look. Um, again, I, I feel bad for Victoria. I mean, who? I mean, who doesn't feel bad for anyone during a breakup? Like, you know, I know a lot of people are like, "Oh, well, she talks so much smack, smack this." Well, yeah, she did do that, and you, we can't take that away. We can't ignore that fact. But, dude, this is the Carterverse. Like, the thing is, we we know what goes on, but for a lot of these girls coming into the scene, they don't know what the heck is about to hit them or potentially gonna hit them. Um. You know, and it's it's Aaron's choice if he wants to move fast or not. So I guess you can't blame him either necessarily. Obviously, maybe morally, it's not a good show of character in some people's eyes that he's been switching between these two girls, like Victoria and like like she's vying for his love. If we look at her uh, story, he posted. Oh, uh, one second here. He posted a picture of him on his motorcycle saying, I love you. I-L-Y. I love you. I don't know if this is supposed to be a joke, like tongue in cheek or what. But look, this is definitely Aaron on his motorcycle, which we haven't seen. Does he actually own that motorcycle or was that? I, I don't know what's the deal with that motorcycle, but um, what's the deal with the Range Rover? Who's getting the Range Rover? Like, so Jenny B posted a, um, Jenny B on Twitter posted a picture from Victoria's story of her. Is it me or can we always see Victoria's, um, you know, like, does she ever wear a bra? Is that just me? I swear that like, I, anyways, that's besides the point. Um, <laughs> Ao from Callus here. Whoop whoop. Um, chit chit. Orange gang gang in the building. Uh, yeah. I need to reset my brain. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave this in. I'm not even gonna edit this out. Anyways, Vic, uh, Victoria's posting pictures. You know, to you know, some sexy pics, trying to look good, trying to get Aaron to look at her back, be like, hey, look, look what you're missing. Look what you're missing out on the beautiful Victoria Alex Eva. So is is Victoria trying to vie for Aaron's love? That's that's what I want to know. Um, I just showed this picture. Um, that Jenny B posted the the motorcycle, et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, is this gonna turn into more of a disaster than it already is at the moment? Is Victoria gonna spill the tea? I don't know. She, she was so wordy with Melanie. How is she not going to be wordy with Aaron? The, the, the only reason why I feel like she couldn't is because if she is working a job right now, she really can't afford to be making herself look bad. You know what I mean? Like she, uh, if I remember correctly, that's the whole reason why she had to stop like mentioning it in the first place or going on these tirades or, you know, showing up and, you know, being in the public eye is because, you know, if she's trying to do realty business, realtorship, it's not going to look good. You know, if you search someone's name and all of it is up on the internet. Luckily, I feel like no one was really using her full name where, where Melanie, you know, if you type in Melanie Martin, you get the whole book on Melanie where, Victoria, I feel like it, maybe it's just due to her name being a little bit more complex than Melanie Martin. It seemed like her name wasn't quite as public. Here, look, here's Google Melanie Martin. Right, look, look at all that. Her, let me type in Victoria Alexeva. Maybe Alexeva. Maybe she comes up now with Aaron. Yeah, so there's there's some Aaron presence here. Oh man, actually, you know, maybe I was wrong about that. Ooh. 
<laughs> oh man, you know, you know what? Maybe I was actually kind of wrong. Aaron Carter's new girlfriend, Victoria, slams haters up. Yeah, um, but I mean, the thing is, like, who's gonna? I don't know. I guess businesses do cross reference these days. You know, think about that. If you get into a relationship with Aaron, your name, your name, dude, like. It's all going to be attached with it. So who knows? I guess it is kind of a, a precarious situation. Is she going to see it as worth it to uh, slam Aaron? I don't know. Anyways, let, let, let's roll some clips. He said this about my mother to my to the children. Every, when everyone was like, you need to get back with mom. I, my, my dad said, you didn't live it. So butt out. Right. I don't have a big mouth. I'm sorry. But I, I'm here to protect you too, but I don't have a big mouth. I don't have a big mouth. What do you want me to say? I don't know what you're saying right now. I don't have to live my life private. I don't live my life private. So, you can. That's your prerogative. Mine is very public. Hmm? I'm okay. I don't need. What's a liar? Always a liar. A leopard doesn't change its spots. Be wary. Look, don't, don't put Melanie down right now. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Ah, sorry. And maybe you know. Thank you. What are they saying? The first video you ever posted was saying, Don't talk about the name or what? Cross another, cross the boundary that I did. They looked into my eyes and lied to me about 50 times. It was, it was terrible. When I turned 16, I was so done singing I Want Candy that I was like, I quit. And I quit for two years. And I released a song that I produced called Saturday Night when I was 17 years old. Yeah. Um, and and then I like turned 18 years old and I got my trust fund money and then I put myself into schooling into Full Sail University through a private tutor. And he's, he's a master engineer and he got, I paid him $60,000 a year for six months and instead of going out and clubbing and partying and, and doing stuff like that, yeah. I, I, I put myself in school and even people saw like on my reality show. So like, yeah, they're, they're, I got so sick of it. I was like, like I'm, all these other people wrote these narratives and these songs for me that aren't me. Right. But in a way, like it's kind of good that you kind of had to do all those songs when you were kid because one it kind of would probably have sharpened your ear to like okay what what is a good song what is a you know a, a hit song but two that's probably partly maybe subconsciously why you do everything everything yourself now because now you have like full control because when you had to sing other people's songs it probably was frustrating and sucked yeah it is but I learned so much from Zach Horn and Wes Cyphers and if they're listening I love you guys thank you so much for all the knowledge and the years that they spent with me, triggering me and, and, and leading me in the right direction instead of being in LA clubbing and stuff. I was in the 33 this year. Yeah. So, I, and my dreams are to be like, you know, I want to be a professor at a college one day for music and then, uh, you know, conducting an orchestra and the movie score. Like, but even, when, even since I was little, They've always been talking about how I'm a, I'm a badass and this and that. And, like, even since I was little, like, I've been a rebel since the beginning. My, yeah. One of my first songs that, that people knew me for was it was Crush on Me First, but then it was Aaron's Party. That's me throwing a party, a house party when parents leave. Like, you know what I mean? But that never happened. <laughs> right. Yeah, you know? I don't know. It's really, it happened. I started throwing keggers. Yeah, but I mean, that's that's the thing. It's like there's a certain type of persona associated with pop. And uh, I don't know. You got more of a rock persona. Be cool to hear rock. An intense rock song. It'll just throw everyone off. I don't know what I'm doing. 
Well, uh, send me your information, bro. Uh, cause it's kind of like.